I got on the previous two videos, I will definitely continue making more videos just like this. My goal definitely is to inspire more men to pick up the practice and integrate yoga into their life, start meditation, pranayama, movement, just feel better and be better men. As you can see, I'm a little bit sweaty already. Um, I filmed this intro after I filmed the class. So it's going to be a strong one today, as always, very well-rounded, full body, but a little bit more working on the thighs and the glutes today. So all you need is your mat, your breath, let's do this. In today's class, we begin in a comfortable seated position. So find your way into a hero's pose, sitting on the heels or cross-legged or sit on a block or whatever is comfortable for you. Sit nice and tall. Place your hands wherever it's comfortable. Close your eyes. And relax your shoulders down away from the ears. Lengthen out through the spine. 
and start to invite all the sensations around you. What can you hear? What can you smell? What can you taste? And notice your own body, what is touching the ground, and from there you move through the body upwards, keeping that connection to the earth. Up your back, up your shoulders, up your neck, up to the crown of your head. Before we start to move and breathe in a different way, I want you to just notice the current state that your body and your entire being is in. Start to draw the hands to the heart and take a few breaths to set your intention for this practice today. What is it that makes this practice unique for you? What is it that makes it your practice? Is there something you're working on? Something physically, maybe something beyond the physical? Why do you practice? Bring your hands to your forehead. If it feels right to you, bow forward. Namaste. Keep your eyes closed if you want. Come into a tabletop, come onto all fours. The shoulders are above the wrists, the hips above the knees. Stay on your toes and then slide the hands back. Start to send the hips back down towards the heels and then keep the arms straight, move forward. Move back and forward a couple times. Keep the spine nice and neutral so we're not trying to move the hips forward and down. We're keeping everything as it is, the arms straight. And we're looking for a strong sensation in the wrists, but nothing painful. I always do a wrist warm-up in my own practice and in every single one of those videos. Come back to neutral, make circles around the wrist, just two circles clockwise, and then switch directions. Beautiful. Now the fingertips are pointing towards the knees. Stay on the toes. Keep the arms straight. Send the hips back. The palms lift up. Now we're targeting more the forearms as well as the fingers. If you want to go deeper, bend one arm than the other. Just move around. Breathe. And slowly release it on the heels. Shake out the wrists. I keep those very simple in those classes, but I have a video where I do like 10 or 12 of only these wrist exercises. So if you're interested, I will link it up here. And then you can do that in your own time. Let's find tabletop again. Stay on the toes, press into your palms, look down to the fingers and press especially into the inside part of your hand. So that first knuckle right between the index finger and the thumb where the finger, the index finger basically begins. Press into that part, round your back a little bit more. Feel that space between the shoulder blades lift up towards the ceiling. So you're pushing the ground away. The shoulder blades glide off your back to the sides. We call this protraction. So press into your palms as much as you can. Stay on the toes, start to lift the knees up and just hold the knees up off the ground, just half an inch. Oftentimes what happens, you bring them up really high but try to bring them very low, so you're almost touching the ground. Keep the breath going, keep pressing into the palms. Lengthen the head, the, the neck forward. And then keep everything from the shoulders to the hips as it is. Only extend the legs back for plank pose. Tuck your tailbone, engage the core. Keep pressing into the palms. Maybe shift forward and back a couple times to continue with that wrist warm-up. Stay on the balls of your feet and breathe. 
So this is more of a full body pose than only the shoulders doing all the work. And we make it a full body pose by tucking the tailbone, engaging the core. Let's do about three more breaths here. Keep the breath going. Use that breath as a guide through your practice. Think of it as you want to continue to breathe nice and soft, controlled, and then through all these challenging poses, the body wants to distract you from your meditation. And then come back to the breath. Now, come onto the forearms, keep everything as it is, from the shoulders downwards, tuck the tailbone, engage the core. Maybe you're starting to shake, that's perfectly fine. Come back to the meditation, to the breath. Let's do three more. Set the knees down, send the hips up and back. Bend your arms for puppy pose. So move the chest down towards the ground. Maybe move the elbows forward. Send your chest down towards the mat. So it's almost like a downward facing dog, but you're on your elbows and your knees. And we're coming into a downward facing dog next, but first you want to open up the shoulders. So it's the same function as downward dog. I will mention it once we're in it, but oftentimes people confuse it with hamstring stretch or bringing the heels down. What you're feeling right now is what you want to feel and focus on a downward facing dog as well. Plant the hands down, downward facing dog. Keep the knees bent for now. Press into your palms, push the ground away. Move the chest towards the thighs so you get exactly that feeling that you just had in puppy pose. Move the hips around, do whatever feels good. Walk your dog. Actually feels really delicious for me right now. It's also the first practice for me of the day. Maybe for you too, so let's do it together. And then with pushing the chest towards the thighs, you now want to slowly straighten your legs. But once you start to round your back, then you have straightened your legs too much. Keep that breath going nice and soft through the nose. And then walk the hands to the back of the mat towards the feet. Just, just for a few breaths here in this downward facing at a uh, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, downward dog, walk the hands forward. On your inhale, roll through the spine forward to plank. Push the ground away. Now bring the feet together, the big toes are touching. Come onto the knife edge of the left foot and reach your right arm up to the sky. Press into your left palm, especially press into the inside part of your left hand. Lift your left hip up a little bit higher and reach your right fingertips up to the sky. If you want, lift your right leg up off the left and hold it there. Now draw the right knee to your right armpit. Please go towards that direction. Now look inside the left hand and slowly step the right foot there. Set the left knee down, low lunge, reach both arms up. Move the hips forward and down. At the same time, pull the right heel back, push the left knee forward, reach out through the arms as if you're holding something up and over your head, and imagine it's kind of heavy, so you have to lift up and push up. Release the hands down, straighten the right leg, half splits. I always have to bring the right foot more forward. Flex the right foot, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Keep pulling the right hip back. If you want more, tuck the chin to the chest. 
maybe move or windshield wiper the right foot to the left and to the right so you really feel all the three parts of your hamstring. Now rebend the right knee, runner's lunge, straighten both legs, pivot your feet to the left, standing straddle forward fold. If you look to the feet, make sure the heels are wider apart than the toes. Keep that breath going. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, spider lunge to the left. Bend your left knee straight in the right. For some of us, the left heel is lifted. For some, it's on the ground. Doesn't matter. No one cares. Move to the front of the mat. Revolved side angle. Left fingertips. Yes, the fingertips, not the palm down. Reach your right arm up. Keep the left leg straight. With every inhale, lengthen out through the spine forward. On your exhale, twist, rotate to the right. One more like this. Inhale. Exhale, rotate. Reach your right arm forward up and over your head. Now come onto your left palm. Heel toe the right foot to the right. Now reach forward, come high onto your left toes, step the left leg through, straighten the left leg, lift your hips up high, and step it back. Two more, just like this. Step it through, and back. Step it through, hold, hold, keep holding, set the hips down, come onto your back, left leg up, right leg forward. Now reach your hands towards the right foot, lift the shoulder blades up and lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift for three, two, one and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come onto your back, bend the right knee, rock forward, plant the right foot down, left hand down, step the left leg back. Lizard lunge, both hands are inside the right foot. Move the hips around just so that it feels good for you. You can also bounce up and down with your hips. I like to especially move the left hip down towards the ground to really lengthen that left hip flexor. Place the left knee down, bend your left leg, reach with your right hand towards the left foot or just throw a strap or a belt around the foot. Grab the pinky toe side if you can. Now move the hips forward and down, extend your left leg away from you. Feel that pull on the right shoulder and then bend and uh, relax the left quad, gently pull that foot towards your hips. Look a little bit more over the right shoulder. And slowly release, plant both hands down. Step the right foot back, plank pose. Clean it up, make it good. We're here to put in the work. Push the ground away. Stay on the, t on the balls of your feet. Now with your inhale, shift forward. Bend your arms, chaturanga. Elbows are touching the ribcage. Straighten the arms again. Back to plank. Two more. Shift forward, chaturanga. Straighten, plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Hold. Three, two, one. Lower the hips, everything down. Interlace your hands behind your back. Untuck the toes. Lift only the chest up and reach your hands towards your heels. And release down. Plant the hands underneath your shoulders and send the hips back for child's pose. Note that you can always come back into this position. Like I said, it's not about doing all the poses all the movements, all the things. It's okay to hit pause, take a break, come back to the breath, make the breath the most important thing of this practice. The rest is just circus. But if you want to continue, Downward Dog is where we meet next. And from here, roll through the spine forward, plank pose. 
readjust your plank, you always have to a little bit. Now, push the ground away, tuck your tailbone, and engage the core. Lengthen the head forward, bring the feet together, come into the knife edge of the right foot, side plank on the right. Press into your right hand. Rotate the right upper arm forward. At the same time, lift your right hip up a little bit higher so you really engage this right side body. Lift your left leg up off the right. If you want, hold it there. Move both of your hips just an inch or so more forward. Draw the left knee to your left armpit. Hold it there. Now look inside the right hand. Slowly step the left foot there as slow as you can. A low lunge. Set the right knee down. Reach your arms up. Move your hips forward and down. Find your foundation here. Pull the left heel back. Push the right knee forward. Press out through the arms because we're holding something really heavy above our head. On your exhale, release the hands down, half splits, heel to the left foot forward. Straighten the left leg, flex the left foot, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Move the left foot to the left, to the right. Rebend the left knee. Then straighten both legs, pivot your feet to the right, standing straddle forward fold. Now you can see it better from this angle. If you look to the feet, my toes are in, the heels are out, and then fold forward and down. This way, with the internal rotation in the thighs, you get a nicer stretch in the hamstrings and also create some more space in the lower back. On your inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, spider lunge to the right. And again, for me, the the heel is down, I have pretty open ankles, I think it's from being ankle locked so many times over so many years. I also work on ankle flexibility, but you know, this comes over time, um, but again, doesn't matter. Move to the front of the mat, revolved side angle, right fingertips down, straighten the right leg, reach your left arm up, pull the lower belly in, with your inhale lengthen the spine forward towards your head. On your exhale, twist to the left. One more. Exhale, twist. Now reach your left arm up and over the head. Heel toe your left foot to the left. Create some more space. Right palm down. Shift forward. Come high onto your right toes. Shift forward more. Step the right leg through. Straighten the leg. Step it back. Two more. And back. Last one. We're going to hold for three, two, one and a half, one. Good to upset the hips down, come onto your back. Left leg forward, right leg up, reach both arms forward towards the left foot, hold it there, and lower, lift, lower. For three, two, and one. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, come onto your back, rebend the left knee, rock forward, left foot down, right hand down, step the left leg back, lizard lunge, beautiful job, both hands inside the left foot, move the hips around, maybe bounce with your hips a little bit. For some of us, or sometimes I come into the forearms as well, but today I skip this one. Now keep the right hand down, set the right knee down to the ground, bend the right leg, reach with your left hand or with a belt or a strap to the foot, 
grab it. If you do grab it, grab it from the pinky toe side. Why? Because then we get this nice external rotation in the left arm. Once you have it, extend the leg away from you. And relax the right quad. Pull that foot towards your hips gently. Engage your right butt cheek. Press into your right palm. Pull the lower belly in, look over the left shoulder if you can. There's so much going on in this pose. We're stretching the thigh, we're doing a back bend, a twist. So much. Now relax the right foot, bring it back without slingshotting at the foot back. Both hands down, step the left leg back, plank pose. Clean it up. Now you decide if you want to keep the knees lifted or set the knees down. We're going for three chaturanga planks or also called three push-ups with the elbows close to the body. That will make it six so far in this class. Shift forward, come high onto your toes, bend your arms, chaturanga. Straighten your arms, plank. Let's go for two more. Last one, we're gonna hold. Chaturanga, five, four, three, two, one. And release everything down. Extend your arms out away from you and lift the chest up. Lift, the, lift also up the arms, the hands, everything lifts in the upper body. Hold it there, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then keep that lift in the chest. Only lift your hands up higher than the shoulders. At least try. We're holding it for five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Come onto your toes. Lift the knees up. Lift your hips up. Straighten your arms for plank pose. Downward facing dog. Let's stay here for about three breaths. And I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, let it go. Two more just like this. And then come back to that nice breath through the nose, in and out. On your next inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels. On your exhale, you can step, float, or handstand the feet between the hands. <laughs> lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, roll up through the spine to standing. The arms reach up, palms touch. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, plant your palms, chaturanga, step or float back. Straighten the arms again, plank. Downward dog. One more, just like this. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, step, float or handstand, feet between the hands, and then lift up halfway, exhale forward fold, bend your knees, roll up through the spine, now exhale chair pose, bend your knees, send the hips back. Now bring the feet together and the knees together, bring your hands to the heart. Pull the lower belly in and send the hips back and down a little bit more. Now it's starting to get hot in here, maybe for you too, but that's exactly what we're here for. Now with your next inhale, lengthen out through the spine nice and long. On your exhale, find a twist to the right side. So you hook that left arm or the elbow outside the right thigh. Gently press into your palms. Keep the spine nice and long, the belly pulled in. We're staying here for a couple more breaths. If you want to come into uh, arm balance here, side crow or anything, you're more than welcome to do that. 
just lock it in real quick, come into the pose, and then slowly come back out of it. Keep that twist, let's all meet back in chair twist. Now shift more weight into the right foot. Start to bend the left knee, the left heel moves up towards your left butt cheek. Once you're here, start to straighten the left leg back, but keep it lifted. At the same time, keep that twist to the right. Maybe straighten the right leg even more. Keep the spine nice and long. Now nice and slow, step the left foot to the back of the mat for crescent twist. So the right knee bends, keep it bent. Only straighten the left leg. Gently press into your palms. Now if you want to go deeper and there's always someone that wants to go a little bit deeper, you can bring your left hand outside the left foot down to the ground and reach your right arm up. We're here for about two or three more breaths. Now let's all extend the arms and rise up for open crescent twist. So now we take the more active version of this. Keep that crescent lunge with the legs, but you extend the left arm forward and the right arm back. Now our core has to do all the work to rotate to the right. On your next inhale, nice and slow, warrior two, reach your left arm up, the right arm forward, left heel down, readjust, warrior two. Look down to the right knee and make sure you can see the right big toe and the toe next to it inside the right knee. Press into the outer edge of the left foot. Relax your shoulders down away from the ears. Now let's take all together a very deep breath in. On your exhale, you're bringing the hands down, step the right leg back, one leg at Chaturanga. Straighten your arms, keep exhaling, right foot between the hands. Now inhale, warrior two. And one more time, exhale, windmill the arms down, one leg at Chaturanga. Straighten the arms, right foot between the hands, warrior two. On your inhale, reverse, reach your right arm up and over your head, hold on the exhale. Inhale, reverse, exhale, hold. Inhale, reverse, exhale, spider lunge to the left. Bend your left knee, straighten the right. Move to the front of the mat. Plant both left hand down. Step the right leg up and over for wild thing. Press into your left palm. Lift your hips up high. The left leg is straight, the right leg is bent. And you're really light on the right toes. your exhale right hand down one legged plank hold it there press into your palms now keep the right leg lifted send the right leg up and back three-legged dog now put this in for those of you that want to handstand you already might have an idea what's coming but you can also step or float the left foot between the hands so our goal is to put the left foot between the hands and meet all in a crescent lunge. Reach both arms up. As if nothing happened. Look inside the left knee. Make sure you can see the left big toe and the toe next to it inside the left knee. Pull the lower belly in. Again, press out through the arms upwards. Then fly the arms back, lean forward. Pull the lower belly in. Slowly shift more weight into the left foot. The right foot becomes really light. 
until you lift up for warrior three. Straighten out through the right leg, send it back, send the upper body forward through the spine, and then lower the right hip down a little bit more. Keep that breath going. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Now we're all coming down to a seated twist. Bring the right knee outside the left foot down to the ground. Slowly squat down. Set the hips down. Bring your left hand behind you. Hook the right arm outside the left thigh or just hug the leg in. On an inhale, lengthen out through the spine. Exhale, twist to the left. Two more just like this. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, face the front again. Plant the left foot down. We're now coming up for a half moon. So plant the left foot down. Shift more weight into it. Slowly rise up for half moon. Stack the right hip over the left and reach your right arm up to the sky. You can also use a block underneath the left hand or you use your upper body side core to lift your left fingertips up off the ground and perhaps then bring the left hand to the heart. Look at one point on the ground to focus on and keep the breath nice and soft. On your next inhale, rise up for standing pigeon. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Send the hips back. Hands to the heart. Beautiful job. If you look down to the right foot now, make sure the right foot is flexed. That means the right toes are pointing over to the right knee. Now the option one is to stay, option two is to take a twist to the left. You can bring the right fingertips down, reach your left arm up, or you bring the right elbow inside the right foot and connect your palms. Keep that right foot flexed the entire time. Wherever you are, we're here for about two more breaths. Slowly, let's all meet back in standing pigeon. Step the right leg back. Straighten both legs. Pivot the feet to the right. Fold forward and down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, pivot to face the front of the mat. Bend the left knee. Frame the left foot. Plank pose. Clean it up first. Push the ground away. On your inhale, shift forward, come high onto your toes. Bend your arms, chaturanga. Straighten your arms, plank. Two more. Last chaturanga, we're gonna hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Set everything down. Untuck the toes, interlace your hands behind the back. On your inhale, lift everything up. The chest, the thighs, the feet, everything lifts. Reach your hands more towards the heels. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. For three, two, one. Release everything down. We're all meeting in downward dog. You decide how you get there. There's probably an endless possibilities to get there, and so you do whatever makes this your practice. Now let's all meet back again with the feet between the hands. You decide how you get there again. Step, float, or handstand. Halfway. Exhale. 
exhale fold bend your knees roll up chair pose on your exhale hands to the heart feet together knees together let's enjoy this for a few breaths it's okay if you cannot see the toes anymore in chair pose the knees are hinge joint it means it moves like this so um, you do it basically all the time when you're walking up the stairs that your knee goes past or over the toes so it's all good take a deep breath in lengthen out through the spine exhale twist to the left hook the right arm outside the left thigh option one is to stay gently press into your palms pull the lower belly in or take a side crow or any variation here on the left just for two or so breaths and back to chair twist now shift the weight into your left foot bend the right leg bring the right heel to the butt hold it there keep that connection with the left arm and the left thigh slowly extend the right leg back keep it lifted maybe also straighten the left leg come back to the breath land the right foot crescent twist straighten the right leg keep the left knee nice and bent and if you want to go deeper right foot a uh, right hand outside the left foot reach your left arm up and let's all rise up for open crescent twist right arm forward left arm back now we have to use the upper body strength the core for the rotation inhale nice and slow warrior two take a deep breath in through the nose on your exhale windmill the arms down one legged chaturanga Keep exhaling, left foot between the hands. Now inhale, warrior two. One more exhale, exhale, exhale. Step the left foot back, chaturanga. Keep exhaling, now inhale, warrior two. On your inhale, reverse. Reach your left arm up and over your head. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, spider to the right. Bend your right knee straight in the left. Move to the front of the mat. Wild things. Place the right hand down. Step the left foot up and over behind the left behind the right calf. Exhale, release, left hand down, one-legged plank, keep your left leg lifted, clean it up, when you're ready, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Now again, the option to step or float or handstand, the right foot between the hands. and lunge it's where we meet
slide the arms back, lean forward. Pull the lower belly in. Shift the weight into your right foot. Warrior three, left leg floats up. Reach the left leg back. Lower the left hip more down. Now we're all coming down for a seated twist. Bring the left knee outside the right foot. Squat down. Seated twist. Right hand behind you. Hook on with the left arm outside the right thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Two more like this with the breath. With the breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Lengthen and twist. Inhale back to face the front. Bring the right foot down to the ground. We're coming up for a half moon. Nice and slow. Stack the left hip over the right. And it helps to reach the left leg more back behind you. That way you stack the left hip more over the right. Or lift the right hand up by using your left upper body obliques, side core strength, or right hand to the heart. Your next inhale, come up to standing, standing pigeon. Left ankle over the right thigh. Hands to the heart. Send the hips back. Keep the left foot nice and flexed. The spine nice and long. The option to stay or take a twist. Left fingertips down. And right arm up. Or hook the left elbow outside, uh, inside the left foot. It's getting pretty sweaty for me here, so it's very slippery. Maybe it's the same for you. And slowly release, standing pigeon. Step the left leg back. Prasarita, straighten both legs. Pivot the feet to the left. Fold forward and down. lift up halfway, bend the right knee, face the front again, plank pose, step the right foot back. On your inhale, shift forward, come high onto your toes, bend your arms, chaturanga, straighten them, plank, shift forward, chaturanga, straighten, plank, last one, shift forward, Hold Chaturanga. Five, four, three, two, one. Release down. Extend the arms out away from you. Untuck the toes. Lift everything up. Locust with T arms. Hold it there. Especially if the thighs are even higher. If the body is starting to shake, that's perfectly fine. Keep breathing. release. Plant your hands down, upward facing dog, straighten the arms, push the ground away, move the shoulders back, push the chest forward and engage the glutes as much as you can. Exhale downward facing dog. job so far. So now we're all coming into 
a seat so you can step float or handstand the feet through come to a seated position however you want to get there bend the knees feet down bring your hands behind you the fingertips are pointing towards your hips lift the hips up reverse tabletop Now start to move the hips forward and back just a couple times to stretch out the front side of the shoulders. And then set the hips down. Come onto your back. Reach your arms forward nice and slow. For happy baby, grab the outer edges of your feet or grab the heels from the inside. Keep the lower back and your shoulders on the ground as you move your knees closer to your armpits. You can also straighten one leg or the other. Also bring both legs up and over your head for plow pose. If you do that, keep a, a gap between the chin and the chest. Just any other one or two poses that feel good for you that you want to take now, feel free to do that. I recommend bringing the left knee, the left foot down, cross the right ankle over the left thigh, and then reach through that hole with your legs 